Hey everyone, uh, just a quick update on those couple of Walking Dead books that I got back from CGC that were supposed to have the Walking Dead labels and didn't. Uh, I got a hold of CGC and I resolved it with them and I just want to let you know what happened so that you don't make the same mistake that I made. Uh, if you go on CGC's website and look up the description of the labels where they have the pictures and stuff, down at the very bottom it says that any books submitted for Walking Dead labels have to be submitted on their own invoice which I didn't do. I put them on a regular modern invoice. You know, I labeled it and said which labels I wanted and added the extra, you know, line at the bottom that said Walking Dead labels at, at 10 bucks. But you're supposed to put them on their own invoice. However, underneath that at the very, very bottom of the page, it says if you don't put them on their in own invoice, CGC will pull them out, create a new invoice, process it that way, and charge you the shipping or whatever to send them back, which they didn't do. So long story short, I paid to have them shipped back down, they re-slabbed them and paid to have them shipped back to me. So I just want to show you kind of what they look like. They look pretty good, I think. There's the Michonne, you know, it's kind of a cool Michonne label on the Walking Dead 19. And then there's no Governor label, but I did a, I did a Rick on that uh, 27 First Governor. So I think they're cool, and they're like five bucks, so I don't know why you wouldn't do it if you're getting Walking Dead stuff slabbed. I have some more Walking Dead I'm sending in. I'm going to get Walking Dead labels. Um, but anyway, just an update on that, just to kind of close out that whole uh, problem. That wasn't really a problem, it's just a misunderstanding on both ends. All right, thanks.